Hi, I'm Chris Ingriego with Edwards Instrument Company and today I'm going to go over how to clean your slide properly. Here at Edwards we have so many people send their slides in and if they were to have just properly maintained them they wouldn't have had to send them to us. What happens is uh, the slide will slowly degrade over the lifetime of the, of the instrument if it's not maintained correctly so that it, it's kind of like the brakes in your car. They're always slowly getting worse and you don't even realize it until it's, it's bad. If properly maintained on a weekly basis your slide should never degrade and should maintain uh, the, its character as it was new. So what we'd like to go over is uh, just proper slide cleaning. In order to do your slide cleaning, you'll obviously need your slide, a clean environment, some muslin or cheesecloth. You can get at your local cloth store. What we do is we go at approximately six to ten inches wide on the, on the cheesecloth. And now you have your cloth ready to be loaded onto the cleaning rod. The cleaning rods we use are just like you would buy anywhere at your local store. Uh, the one difference that we do is on the end we'll take in the out back and we'll actually grind the sharp edges off. The most common damage we see done to slides is when it's inserted into the outer slide people a lot of times don't gauge where they're at and they just jam it in and they dent the inside of the end crook out. So we always end up seeing a dent right here or right here where people have pushed that into it. So what you want to do to properly load your cleaning rod is get your cloth, push it through the eyelet of the cleaning rod, and then wrap over. You don't want to leave that exposed. That's going to damage your slide. So wrap it over and turn it around. So now you have a little bit of cushion there. Now depending upon the bore of the instrument, you can wrap it to where it's a small diameter or if it's a base and you're dealing with a dual bore slide 578 bore, you can wrap it pretty thick. And then once you have it thick, you can start thinning it down a little bit. Always make sure to leave enough to hold on to. If you can't hold on to this and it all goes in the slide, it's going to get stuck and you're not going to get it out. So now that I have enough to grab onto, my end's covered, I'm ready to clean the outer slide. Take the slide apart. And we're going to do the outer slide first. It really doesn't matter what you do uh, first or second. Take your cleaning rod that's all wrapped up. Insert it carefully. And you want to make sure to go as straight with the slide as possible. Now, I've got, a, I've got my finger here, my index finger as a gauge. I know that whenever I put it and I touch that, I'm at the end of the slide, but I'm not going to hit the end crook. So using my index finger as a gauge, I hold it and I go in until my index finger touches and that ensures that I'm not going to hit the end crook and damage the slide. And I swallow about 10 or 15 times each side. Careful to go parallel with the slide. And I've removed all the old trombotine off that. We don't use slide mix here. slide mix for some reason, on Edward's slide does not seem to work very well. Our tolerances are pretty tight, and it ends up building up deposits on the inside of the outer slide tubes. I've had more people send in their slides to be repaired saying, it feels like it's dented, and we get it, and there are no dents in the outer tubes. What it is, is it's just a buildup over the weeks and weeks and weeks of depositing the slide mix on the slide that builds up on the inside of the outer slide, and then starts bonding, essentially, uh, or galling a little bit to the inner slide. So what we have to do is get a little aggressive with those slides to remove all the slide mix. Then it's generally great and we always tell them don't use slide mix. Well, some people do and have okay results but those people when I talk to them are generally cleaning their slides like we're doing right here today every day after they're playing. Now that your outer slide is clean we're going to switch and clean the inner slide.
what we use is just a regular glass planer. You can use an alcohol and a cloth, it doesn't really matter. Um, just something to cut the remnants of the old uh, trombotine. So we use a lint-free cloth, glass cleaner. And you'll notice one thing I do here. I, I, I rub a little bit and then I grab it. And I'm holding the actual inner slide tube. I had a friend of mine, Bob Hester, that used to clean slides and he showed us to do that so you're not really stressing the joint at all and keeping everything happy. Now, after that's completely wiped free, it's time to apply the trombotine. You take your trombotine and essentially just a real small dollop will do. About a sixteenth coming out. And you can see here, that's not very much. Now with your thumb and forefinger, take it and you rub it in. You want to rub it into the entire inner slide. If you can start seeing a white haziness after you've completely rubbed it in, you put on too much, you're going to have to take a cloth and wipe some of it off and then rub it in until you cannot see it anymore. You can see on this slide too, you can't see it at all. And that's good. Now you repeat that on the other slide too. You want to do your visual inspection. Make sure you can't see it. Again, if you see that white haziness too much, remove some. Now, we use just distilled water. We don't use tap water. The reason being, tap water has fluoride, calcium, iron, all sorts of stuff that can end up leaving deposits long term on your slide. Once you've watered it, then you just carefully put the slide back together and your job is done.